good afternoon and happy 15th day of vlogmas. It is just gone four o'clock and all I've done today really is work so far and I'm starting to feel kind of tired in my eyes. <laughs> I knew that this was a risk of doing a job that involved looking at a screen all day which is not the sort of job that I've ever done before. Um, and also the fact that basically all of my hobbies involve looking at things, like mostly looking at screens and video editing, which is now kind of the same as what I'm doing during my day job. So I realised that I need to have a bit of a break. This comes in nicely with today's journaling prompt actually, which I'll talk about now. So today's journaling prompt was balance, and I think balance is a really interesting one for me because in general when people talk about balance, you tend to think about the fact that your life is already consumed by work and where can you find the place for life to fit into that balance. But I like to also think about this term a bit more widely in terms of am I balancing exercise and rest? Am I balancing socialising and time alone? And sometimes for me it actually becomes apparent when I think about this that I'm kind of wimping out maybe of doing the things which push me out of my comfort zone but which are actually necessary for my happiness so like for example I'm a massive introvert and I will readily just spend evening after evening after evening by myself and not see people whereas actually it does still make me really happy to spend time with my friends so sometimes what I need to do is make sure that I organize meeting up with people in order to be happy. The one that I'm really focusing on is exercise because I just don't tend to get very much exercise certainly not like intensive exercise. I really enjoy going for walks but I often don't do a set kind of period of exercise during my day or even during my week. When I was younger I used to do loads and loads of dance and dancing makes me so happy but I just don't really tend to do it and something that I'm thinking now especially that I have a job that involves sitting down all day whereas again previously when I was teaching I used to kind of excuse myself from my lack of exercise on the basis that I was on my feet all day. Now I really don't have that excuse. I literally if I don't force myself to exercise will be in my seat all day and then in my seat all evening um, and so I want to get better at doing exercise which actually forces me to raise my heart rate and you know get the blood pumping a bit. I put myself a target to do one session a week of this because I think that is like that is really achievable it's kind of not acceptable for me to do less than one session a week of slightly more intensive exercise. So I've just got myself ready and I'm going to do the same ballet class that I did a few days ago that I really really enjoyed. So yeah my plan is to do that now and I think I will really try and get myself into the routine of fairly regularly doing this as an afternoon activity which is what I used to do when I was working from home previously when schools were closed. I find the afternoon like mid-afternoon around three o'clock or something if I have the flexibility to organize my own day it's just the perfect time for me to do exercise because my brain has kind of gone to mush by that point anyway and so it's a really good time to get the blood flowing but if I exercise a lot later as a lot of exercise classes that you actually go out to to do after work are like 7 or 8 p.m then it takes me ages and ages to kind of wind down and get to sleep afterwards so mid-afternoon I think is my best exercise time. On which note, let's get dancing! <laughs> I just finished that ballet class and I enjoyed it so much again. Exercise, I know people always go on about exercise being good for your mental health, um, but I really think that finding an exercise that you actually love 
is good for your mental health. Like if I go on a run, which is something I don't really enjoy, sometimes, sometimes I'll hit a good place with it and feel good when I've finished, but often I'll just feel miserable, which is clearly not the point of exercise. Whereas like dance for me is a form of exercise that I genuinely love. I'm really hoping I can bring more balance into my life by doing more exercise and doing that exercise as dance. I was so happy today. I felt just tiny little fragments of my old ability, I guess, coming back to me. Like there were a few times where I really felt like I was dancing. Um, because I haven't danced for so long, I quite often sort of feel creaky when I dance. Like my ankles feel stiff and sore, my hips feel stiff and sore and they get jammed and it just makes me feel really old. But there were a few times where I just felt that utter elation, which um, I think many of us feel when you're doing a form of exercise which you really love and there were some moments where I just I felt I was dancing and that is pure joy to me. Good evening. It is so much later than I intended for it to be when I started winding down to go to bed. I was just editing and uploading my YouTube video. It took quite a long time. It was a video from a day where kind of everything went wrong, including all of my footage, and so I had to do a voiceover for it in order to be able to have any form of video whatsoever. I mean, maybe I should have just skipped that day, but anyway, it's done now. Um, so yeah, that took ages, and I also spent a while on the phone. I talked to my parents on the phone, they're literally in the same house as me, for about half an hour, uh, because I'm avoiding contact with them just to be cautious, and I talked to Tom quite a lot as well, so... That was nice, um, but now it is a lot later than I thought it was going to be. Also, while I was having my dinner, I was just catching up on a bit of booktube, uh, and I thought I would talk about the videos that I was watching because I really, really enjoyed both of them. So I was watching Shelf Starters channel. I feel like Shelf Starters needs to get shouted out all over the place because their channel is awesome. So they're a mother and a daughter, um, both Australian, but the daughter is living in London, and they've been doing this project where they're reading through the Norton Anthology, um, there are many Norton anthologies, but over the course of this year they have read the whole, like, Old English and Middle English Norton anthology, and they were just kind of wrapping that project up and talking about which ones were their favourites, which were their least favourites, as well as sharing a bit of a TBR for December. I just love their channel. The enthusiasm for literature is amazing, and the mother-daughter bookish relationship is absolute goals. Like, if I have a daughter, that is what I want our relationship to be like. Um, it just makes me so, so happy to watch them talk about books. They're both like super intelligent, have really, really interesting things to say, and are also clearly just so passionate and educated about literature. So yeah, highly recommend Shelf Starters. And then the other channel I was watching, which is a, a much, much bigger channel, you've probably heard of her, was Carolyn Marie Reads. And again, she's just somebody whose enthusiasm for books, like, shines through like a beacon. She's so gentle and calming and enthusiastic at the same time. She's an amazing illustrator. She's currently working as a freelance illustrator and writing her own children's book, and I just find her channel super inspirational and also super comforting, so really, really enjoyed watching those. I am going to get ready for bed now because I'm still pretty tired. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Thank you.